All right, so we're still in the apartment building. Just kind of wondering what's up. Can I go in the door? I had the note on it. The accused junkie. Oh, their fire is still running. The lighting is kind of wild in this room. Like, it seems like this stuff on this counter is lit up, but it's like brighter than the window the light's coming from. Cause like this is, you can see from this, like that's where the light's coming from is that window. But the window's not bright. <laughs> this looks very strange. Ew, God, nightmare toilets. Bitch, you live like this? Oh. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That was bad timing for joke. Oh, I'm stuck on stuff. This must be all the stuff he took. Return the stolen items to the rightful owners. Oh. This might be thematically lining up with the idea of, like, going back and, like, uh, making amends, going for forgiveness. I think we're going to the apartment and, like, kind of undoing what someone did. Child's money bank, probably goes to the child. There's a woman inside, Purple Heart from World War II. Solid gold watch, the metal bracelet. Is it the locket would go there? Ugh. Those were sounds. The watch? Why is there a TikTok right now? Oh, the clock is just a hint that you're, there's supposed to be a watch there. Because watches are famously loud. <laughs> So two of them were in the same apartment. Like, we definitely had a children's room in the other place. A child's room. A children's room. This coins. <laughs> it's always the same stock noise of a, of a giggling child across so many forms of media. Like, it's just, we've all heard it so many times. It's very funny. For me, like, Overused stock noises fit the really specific vibe of like ni like Nintendo 64 rareware games like that, that make that kind of makes them all feel goofy to me So when I hear them in like serious media media, it's always inherently a little funny It's the whole vibe makes me think of something of way dumber stuff What? Oh. 
I guess this is where we came from. Like, was the child's... Was the person they lived with the person with the war medal? I don't think I've seen a room that had war vibes. Like, soldier vibes. I don't know, there's a little sofa, chair, and a TV. Maybe they're downstairs, because I think I haven't been uh, all the way downstairs yet. A rocking chair, that tells me war veteran. <laughs> Strange place for hangers. What the fuck? It's like Saturn devouring his son, except it looks like Saturn is TJ from Echo. Enjoy piecing that thought together, people. My brain contains mysteries. Okay, that's just straight up gun noises. I guess that's I guess we can guess where we are now. Does it go on the mantle? The p okay, we're being <laughs> extremely literal. This is getting a little silly. Okay, uh here we go. I feel like it like like, he is an asshole for stealing someone's purple heart. Like, that's a really specifically significant thing to somebody. While also, I don't imagine especially valuable as an, like as a thing to sell, so I don't know why you'd steal it exactly. I don't know, maybe it's valuable. Uh, but I feel like this, this entire quest I just did is undercut by the- Wonder? That's not the vibe I got from that. This entire quest is undercut by the fact that I, I just stole something in the middle of returning all these objects to their rooms to make them happy or something. It's like, I just returned everyone's belongings, right? So you'd think like, oh, it's all about undoing the theft and making amends. But I stole that guy's painting! What if the painting was important to him? And I've just renewed the entire cycle, now I'm gonna be haunted. Did that do anything? I have no idea. Uh, let's go back upstairs to the room with the guy that did all this. And maybe something's changed up there. That's what I would figure. Oh, the body's gone. Oh, this jacket. Oh, costume change. I unlocked a costume change. Uh... Okay. I guess. Confusing reward. Not just the idea of getting costumes, like, obviously, like, you kind of inherently want, like, upgrades or gear in a survival horror game but there's also just like the worrying element of like I am wearing a dead man's clothes right now which also gave me the thought of realizing like oh right I was also already wearing a dead man's clothes like my, my honestly my lowest like lowest sin equipment so far was when I was wearing prisoner garb cuz like I went from wearing prisoner garb to wearing uh, the gear of what was, it was heavily implied to be a dead police officer, given her reaction. Why do you get to walk free while, while good men like him and trails off? Like, okay, so he died. Then I wear 
then as a reward for making amends with the thing, the loose ends left by a guy who killed himself, I'm now dressing up as him, and it's like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, when I find a dead body, which I do all the time, my first hit, my first thought is not, oh man, that drip. Can't wait to get that on me. Jesus, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Definitely not what I intended. Still in town, I see. Just haven't found a way out. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Yeah? Then what? Well, let's just say I could finally put this damn bag down for starters. Man, cut the bullshit. What is this place? Can't say I understand the question. This is a busy town. Do you think these letters deliver themselves? Whatever. Can you at least tell me where the radio station is? Someone's been calling in, making these <laughs> dedications to me. Oh, sure. That'd be the tall building in the center of town. Big old monster of a clock at the top. Shouldn't be hard to find. By the way, I ran into that lady friend of yours. What in the world you do to get that young woman so riled up anyway? She was fit to be tied. Tell you the truth, I got no idea. <laughs> Son, in my experience, when someone's that angry, it ain't a mistake. It's personal. Alrighty, bye. At least this time when I saw someone again, they didn't jump off a bridge. So he's alive so far. So go to the tall building with the clock tower. Can't miss it. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, it's easy. <laughs> Definitely can tell where it is. Does he not see the fog? Maybe. Okay, so I've made it nowhere. I went from that part of Lannis Lannisdale Avenue to this side of Lannisdale Avenue, now surrounded by two different ravines. Or barriers. There's barricades everywhere. Oh. This police noise is just behind the door again. Is the implication that I'm supposed to go all the way back? Bricks. Am I supposed to go all the way back to the previous police station just to put in the number to get rid of a car? Oh cool, the hammering's back. Uh-huh, can you stop? God damn it. Oh my fucking god. Okay, the hammering seems to have stopped. I'm just gonna hope that that can continue for long enough to me to finish this episode. Oh, today has been delayed. My schedule is in ruins. Having... I need I need a, a recording complex in the woods away from all other human beings that can create noise pollution. And mid-episode interrupts where I'm like, uh, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, it's a rock. It doesn't even look like a rock, it looks like a crumpled up piece of paper, honestly. Or a pine cone. I guess less a pine cone and more like a seashell. They made it. That's another rock, okay. It is so hard to see what the game wants you to pick up. They basically need like a weapon item prompt that's a different button than a lore item prompt, for example, because it's like, it's genuinely hard to see anything the game wants you to pick up. And so I'm like, am I, am I running past the 500th rock I don't care about? Or was it a note that's gonna be lore important and I just missed it? Cause that's sad. I want the lore items. I 
Alright, so we've made our way into somewhere new. Whoop! Yep, there he is. Okay, so that's the first time we've now seen a police car. Looks like they move pretty fast. I think it might genuinely just be like, boop, and then you just have like, that's your one warning to get the fuck off the street. And if you don't get off the street immediately, you're going to get caught by the cop car. Which, given how quick it rolled by and how little cover there seems to be, I don't know how likely you are to be able to get away. Besides just staying off the street altogether, which I guess is probably the incentive, just to kind of make you take a while to get around. Oh, hi! Any items around here? Does this door work? It does work. The hard transition door, too. Alright, well, I'm, I'm guessing you can't follow me in here. My goal wasn't necessarily to specifically go here to escape, but just my goal is to, like, just fend him off as much as I need to to then go back to playing the game. And I was gonna... I just wanted to make sure I checked the door before I left in case it was important. And turns out it's a whole thing. God, I can't see. Okay. Oh, it is hard, hard to see. Okay. Just let it be known that if you also can't see what's happening, me too. Samesies, bro. I just have the slight advantage in that I'm controlling the game, so I at least know what my character's doing most of the time. So I think it's a little easier to follow for me because of that kind of stuff. the missing paintings. This is the location you're supposed to f take the paintings to if you can find them, which I've, I've found three of them so far. Is this game just full of strange collectathon quests? I don't imagine I'll be able to do most of them because you'd have to like be extremely thorough in a really boring kind of way to play games. It's a piece of the map. What am I doing? Another map piece. What? Oh, that's putting them under each other. Also, he just said it's a piece of the, of the map before I knew it was a map. So I was like, what is he talking about? He never said it must be a map or something. Well, how do you, what order are they selected in? There we go. Trying to navigate the selection process and struggling. Ah! There's multiple stacked ones here. This is a strange interface. Okay. That one connects there for sure. How do I pick the top left one? I think I just can't. Can't line that up with that. Red spots are very hard to see. I'm pretty sure that this does not line up with... It might line up. I'm trying to see... Because like, it's really easy to see the red spots in the top left piece, but the rest of it's harder to tell. But I think the... Yeah, it might be crossing over, so those top three might all be in the correct spot. And this one overlaps there. 
So the top four, I think, are correct right now. And those ones don't look like they line up, so they must be in the, top, the bottom right corner. There's like three more maps. Let's see. Okay, so this is probably kind of useless to me at the moment. There we go. Alright. Need to respond to somebody real quick, sorry. Definitely a struggle with uh, with Let's Play sometimes. It's just like <laughs> trying to record a thing, which means denying access to, to yourself to people for like hours at a time. And it's like, that's just like not practical all the time. It's like, no, you need to respond sometimes to things. There's at least more to this facility. It's not just that one collectible thingy. Uh, right stick. Da, 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 da. Bender's Fine Art and Appraisals, October 3rd. Dear Mr. Rice, the Delana painting in your collection needs to be in a public gallery, not the private home of an eccentric recluse who selfishly hoards such treasures for his sole enjoyment. I have tried... God, the, the, the controls prompts are so big and in the way on this screen. They could have put them so many other places. Uh, I've tried repeatedly to get you to accept my generous offers to purchase the painting, but once again you rebuff me, leaving me no choice but to take drastic measures. If It would be extremely unfortunate if certain details regarding your son's suicide were made public. Give me the painting, and I'll assure you that these allegations never see the light of day. Fuse me, and face the consequences. Sincerely, a dickhead. Uh, Melissa Motlin. So they're from 210 Main Street. 5867334. So maybe you can dial that number in-game? Maybe. up what under the document fenders fine art and appraisals how large is the map a three die three grid maybe I don't need the entire map to find the treasure who has the missing paintings cross-check with art collector quarterly it's buying New England 19th century oils uh, cross-check with with art collector quarterly who is buying New England 19th century oils mr. rice won't return calls miss Bright, but Doctor Brit, Mister Banker refuses to sell. Is he a bank banker from the bank? <laughs> All right, so they're so this person's harassing people over these paintings subjects because they're trying to complete the the uh the map. What do the symbols mean? Native American, maybe Algonquin. Call Pat at Silent Hill Historical Society. Maybe he knows. Ravens, death, burial site. These look like different locations. Somebody's on a treasure hunt. Is this a plot treasure hunt, or is it just a weird side thing you can do? It's like... I understand being really interested in weird documents in this game, in these games, when you're like locked in a hospital and you're trying to figure out how to get out of the hospital, and you're like, oh, maybe the, the patient registry will be the solution to this somehow. But when you're just like in public, it's like... I don't know, should I be getting involved in some random Silent Hill person's weird treasure hunt and their crusade to get these these paintings? Seems like it's probably not terribly relevant to the haunting of Silent Hill or my current need to just escape altogether. So it's kind of a it's a little bit of a puzzling narrative thing to introduce where I'm like it's here for video gamey open worldy kind of reasons at first glance. And it's hard to justify why my character would pay any attention to it. But who knows, maybe it'll develop. 
Either way, the most information is mostly crossed out. So I probably are supposed to basically find it by just exploring everywhere. I don't know why they did this the way they did, where you have to view the entire thing in, in six specific slots instead of just being able to scroll around. We definitely have come up with better solutions since, like how you, there's a read a documents button in most games, which often will even just give you an in separate text that's uh, less immersive but clear. But honestly, just being able to scroll freely instead of in weird intervals would be nice. September 14th. Uh, dear Mr. Barker. I was bank Barker, not Banker. Thank you for returning my inquiry regarding the Liliana Shelley painting. It's wonderful to find another like-minded collector, uh, especially one that's so familiar with the early work of this local artist. I was, however, extremely disappointed to hear that you have chosen to reject my offer to acquire this piece for my gallery. You have to understand that we are assembling what the art review has called the most important extensive collection of Shelley's early oils ever displayed. And refusing to sell or lend the painting to the gallery is not only a disservice to Silent Hill, but an insult to the greater com art community. Your refusal to support the celebration of Shelley's work will only lead to misfortune. I beg you to carefully reconsider my offer. Sincerely, Melissa Matlin. Can I steal their money? Look at this giant, chunky cash register. Also, I can't see. Hey, my light is on. It's just too low. This cash register, I can't even see over it. How short am I? That's not normal, is it? I don't know. I don't know about older analog cash registers or whatever. I've never seen one that you struggle to see over. Like, that seems like it's just incredibly inconvenient for your purposes at a counter. It's so big that it, like, physically blocks your perspective like a computer ta like a computer monitor. So I went downstairs already. Time for more monster. Still here? Probably. Sometimes it's better to run away than to fight. No, I figured that out. <laughs> These things take a lot of hits to kill, and I can just run away. Ah! I pressed red bumper to block again. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, my weapon broke. That's bad. That's bad. Haha, <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, so this sucks. <laughs> the fact that you can get pinned in a corner like that sucks. Dude. Alright, so now we'll awkwardly load back into the building. <laughs> Hanging out. I forgot about loading times. Remember loading? I spend so little time on loading screens nowadays. Even when you're playing older games, usually they're you're doing it on a platform that causes the loading screens to also just kind of go away. It's almost nostalgic if you uh, don't value your time. This is a very long loading time. It's just three rooms. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I was very much trapped there, which is not, is not great for me. As far as I know, my goal is to find the radio tower. Right now, my goal is to go inside, find another weapon, I guess, and then uh, check my health to see if I healed or not. I tried pressing the healing button during that whole mess, but I, there's not a ton of feedback about when you heal or don't heal. If you're not currently doing something, you'll hear he like makes a noise that's easy to pick out and does a little healing for a moment thing. But uh, outside of that context, it's much harder to tell if he's healing, uh, like in the middle of a fight. If you get stuck in a puzzle, try approaching it from a different angle. Uh huh. I'm starting to worry that this is, uh, stuck. Murphy can go indoors to take shelter from the rain. 
Why would I take shelter from the rain? Is there a rain mechanic? Light is not a very good source of light, but it is better than nothing. Oh, uh, that's a good point. I did have a lighter for that entire cave section. UV light can reveal hidden clues and objects. Apparently there's a UV light that reveals hidden clues and objects. Okay, this is suspicious. I think I'm gonna... Uh, button. Let's go ahead and restart the game. I don't think it's ever gonna recover. Which is unfortunate, but... Like... I mean, look at it. <laughs> that was like minutes of loading, right? I'm pretty sure at that point we just lost. We failed. So let's try getting back in there. Anyway, my goal was to go back indoors, find a new weapon, because apparently my weapon just broke. Uh, but uh, things didn't go so hot. Vatra. Yeah, I'll get I'll back I'll get back towards trying to find the radio tower. If this game ever works again. Uh huh. Oh, I love cloud storage. Hopefully I didn't like lose my save from having to quit out. At least I quit out normally-ish, in that I didn't, like, turn off the console. Uh, but I don't think this game ever saves while it's loading. I don't know what I'm going to load into, though, because I don't know when it last saved. I can, depending on where I am, I can check my journal to see which stuff I have right now. As based on which notes I have, I'll know when when I am. Okay, hi. Am I going back in? Thank you for- okay, so I already have all my documents. This is the moment where I got pinned against the wall. So if I can avoid that yaoi moment, then I'll be good. Let's try to find a sturdier, heavier weapon. Okay. I don't have to redo anything except for all of the loading. Ooh. Huh, okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Whoop. I go. Oh, he closed that gap more than I thought he was. Go. Uh, could try heading left, I guess. Let's see. Centennial building. There's a question mark there. Am I trying to go there? I don't think I've been there yet. I don't know what the Centennial building is. Is he leaving? Uh, oh, not, not anymore. That door doesn't work. <laughs> he can't get me behind this slight barrier. <laughs> I lost him because he's too big. Well, this is definitely something new. This is probably a thing. Is it a note? Nope, it's a pipe. Oh, he's back! The way this game is screwing me over by making it so I can't tell what it's prompting me with when I'm trying to run from things. Okay. I'm hanging left, so this probably took me back to the Centennial building. He stopped following me. Does door work? It does. Alright. Oh, there's a big circle. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be here. How did he erase the Sharpie question? Oh, one pixel forward was a loading screen. How do you so erase the question mark? <laughs> Who is doing this? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Hey, Murphy! I got your paperwork here. Take a look. Hey, Murphy, remember, this is a limited time offer, my friend. 
I'll let you know. What's up, Officer Coleridge? What was that about? Mm, uh, nothing. Hey, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Sewell's bad news, Murph. He doesn't do anyone favors. What are you in for with him? It's nothing. It's... Don't worry about it. For your sake? I hope so. I don't want to get your hopes up, kid, but the parole board's looking pretty closely at your case. Don't screw this up now. Not after all I've done to get you out of here. Don't worry, Officer Coleridge. I, I got it all under control. Just some unfinished business to take care of. What the hell are you doing in here anyway, Murphy? You're, you're not like these guys. I told you, sir. It, car theft, resisting and evading and... Nah. Yeah. You stole a police cruiser and let him on a 10-hour chase down the eastern seaboard. What makes a guy with no priors and a clean sight do something that stupid? I think you at least owe me the truth. Maybe I just needed to escape from the world for a while. Yeah, well, you just steer clear of Sewell and do your homework, right? You got it, Chief. Conversation had a weird vibe to it. It's like... What are you doing in here? You're not like these other guys. Like, uh, well, I was arrested and uh, sentenced, and now I'm in prison, and they won't let me out. Are you going to let me out? Would you like to let me out? You can do it. I dare you. I dare you let me out. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> ah. Right. Oops. Memorandum. Real State Prison. Parole Committee. Glenn Milton. Subject. Prisoner Pendleton Murphy 273A. Parole status. I wonder if I can type myself in. This letter is to inform you that parole has been approved for Prisoner Murphy Pendleton, effective June 26th. Mr. Pendleton has met all qualifications for early release and, by all accounts, is a model prisoner. We feel he is prepared to make the successful transition from a prisoner to citizen. Further, due to the non-violent nature of his conviction, it is our opinion he poses no physical threat slash danger to the general public. Please feel free to contact our office should you have any questions and or concerns. Respectfully... Judith Zar Zaragoza, Parole Committee Chairperson 3551407. Non-violent nature of his conviction. What did he get convicted for? Did he steal the kid? We haven't technically been told what happened specifically. Uh, it was specifically just that, like, we know that right after that scene, he... Uh, probably beat that guy to death in the showers. I'm pretty sure he died. Uh, and I that probably extended our s prison state uh, sentence. I think we got transferred to high security because of the violent crime that we were then caught f doing. Uh, but for some reason, that guy wanted us to kill that guy. But he said limited time offer. And I was like, why would we need any kind of offer if we're about to get out on parole? That seems... Like, we would not want to take any kind of offer because we're clearly doing fine on our own. <gasps> so it's not like it was about our sentence or anything. Or, like, our conditions in the prison. Stuff seemed to be doing fine there. We even seem to have, like, a oddly sympathetic guard that cares about our plight and whatnot. So things seem to be going fine there. So it just kind of gets strange. So, like, based on all that, inf that context... Uh, at the time, the fact that we were on such a mission to kill that guy, and and we specifically said that, that we were neighbors, that means, okay, we have history with him. I'm like, oh, okay. We, he probably attacked somebody or preyed upon somebody in our family, right? So I figured that he probably uh, murdered or otherwise did bad thing to a sibling or our, our child. Uh, 
But then that raises questions of how we're in prison in the first place. Is the prison sentence unrelated to that? Because clearly we couldn't have taken revenge already because we're already in prison. Then what are we in prison for? We can't be in prison for having, like, been accused of killing our own child or whatever, or sibling, because uh, it's a non-violent conviction. All we know is that he... I think all we know is that he took off in the car and had to be chased. And I don't think he's in prison for all this time because... He, oop, hello. The Centennial Building. Okay, so this is our next major location. I don't think he's in prison uh, because of a police chase. Not for this long. I don't know. I don't know how long prison sentences are and for why or and whatnot. Sector A3. So we need an ID. $10 an hour or $10 for $40. Or what? Oh, parking garage. Got it. I've got a wrench. I'm in my happy place. It seems like that hook weapon had extremely low durability because I don't even remember really fighting anything else with it. But relatively quickly against that one guy, it fell apart. If I can just get to that freight elevator. Ask security. Blah, blah, blah. Ask security guard to open. That's either how we leave this floor or how we leave the building. And we need to get in there to get there. So I need to get a key card to get there to then go here. It says ask guard to open. No! Oh. Might be able to get that open at some point. Oh, the back's unlocked? Oh! Get the fuck off me! That's some good camera right here. Alright. There we go. Enough of that. How am I doing? 71, not bad. Only 20% of progress. I guess if there's a bunch of side stuff though, who knows what that's measuring. Aww, oh, I specific- it's, a, it's like a body. A body and books. Did she get back up? Uh oh. Ah! I specifically thought they don't seem to get back up, almost like it was a, a moral choice to focus on fixating every- taking everything out. You need to stop. Oh, I made a sound. It really makes it seem final. 67. Yeah, like, I need to explore this place. I can't deal with you getting up that frequently. I was starting to think the things didn't get back up. Because I've gotten away with just leaving, for the most part. Internal Memorandum. Cap from Brian... Uh... Captain Brian Handley to Warden Glenn Milton. Status update, internal investigation. Per our recent conversation, my department has... God damn it. Has initiated an aggressive internal investigation into the prison guard staff. In order to keep you appraised of significant developments, please note that we are paying particular attention to the activities past or present of Corrections Officer George Sewell. We have received an eyewitness testimony from Corrections Officer Frank Coleridge that suggests C.O. Sewell has been engaged in a number of illegal activities in the course of his duties. Other than C.O. 
Coleridge's testimony, however, our evidence regarding Sewell's alleged violations remains circumstantial at this point, and our investigation continues. I will keep you promptly appraised of any new findings. Respectfully, Captain Brian Handley, Chief of Guards, SQ457671. That's a six-digit number, which is suspicious a little bit, because we, yeah, I've had a number of six-digit combos. Is it just another flashlight? Oh, it's a black light. Ooh. Okay. That's good to know. And then there's suspicious clothing in here. Yeah, if you find bloody a bloody bag, a toolbox, and suspicious clothing in the back of a squad car, I feel like they're uh, the bad guy. Up to some shit. <laughs> Open what? The back? Doggy! Hey! Uh... I don't know how the fuck this didn't come up sooner. I literally have already been inside this vehicle. How has this dog not reacted sooner? Anyway, you stay in there, buddy. Uh, you're- you're prob- you might- you're, you might be safe. I don't know. For a while. I mean, not forever, you're gonna be dead in like, a few days, if no one lets you out, but... Now's not the time, buddy! Uh, shit's fucked! Use how and where, why? Okay, he also doesn't know. <laughs> I was like... Are you about to act with like, a lot of certainty here that I don't have yet? Like, cause I don't even know why we're trying to do this. It's bricked up. That means things. Don't think about that. Oh. You should- you should move. See, that was a mistake. You should have moved instead of standing there. Yep. Okay, so they're- they're foreshadowing some kind of pyramid head-ish thing. Not the- not the pyramid head specifically, but some kind of big executioner man. Oh, it's flooded down there. That is the type of lock you can break. But it's real wet down here, so I'm guessing we can't... How far does it let you go? Too deep. Okay. I wonder where it goes. I want- I, I felt like I should test it, but I was also a little worried the game was gonna kill me instantly. Because I've played a fair number of games lately where just touching water kills you instantly and you're like, Man... <laughs> I gotta replay stuff. Is that a, okay, no, I thought that was- I thought that was a rifle. At, from this angle, it looked like a, a fucking rifle. I guess the dog f calmed down. Lulled to the sleep by the, the- the sound of police radio. Oh, I'm back here. I've looped all the way around. So that car is stuck. Does this pick up forensics with the light? I'm still in forensic light mode. I'm starting to think this isn't a very good forensics light. Like it's not even lighting up the blood. I'm always really shaky on mechanics like this because, like, they could always just do a very bad job, job telegraphing where the secrets are because they're literally invisible, and that gets old. But, uh, it's very funny that it's a- it's a black light and it doesn't even light up the blood. It feels like it's the purpose of that, is that... Maybe I'm wrong about what it lights up for in the first place, I don't know. Don't listen to me about anything. Bork, 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 bork. So I can't get past these barriers. Let's see, we go behind this fire truck.
I'm prompted to use the pump. Oh. Now that I've opened this gate, he, that's he knows. Okay, we're gonna use it to, to get rid of the water. I didn't know fire trucks could suck up water. See, is this worse? Until I saw this in and out lever. I guess it makes sense that it would load up somehow. I guess I thought they just poured it in or something, or they pumped it in where like the thing putting it in would pump it. Maybe the thing can also suck the water back. I have no idea, honestly. Speak up, fire truck experts. Pump up my my YouTube video uh, interactions, please. Oh, those are footprints. Only right there, though. Yeah, that's how UV lights work. <laughs> they show exactly four footprints right there and nowhere else. But they didn't light up the blood. I'm pretty sure UV lights don't just magically show footprints. You have to be stepping in something and it's showing what you stepped in. But the blood, the source of the blood, did not light up the UV light. I'm not sure how useful this tool, this mechanic is going to be. Ooh. Security card, okay. Oh, the water level's rising. That was not apparent. Okay, that's a good time for you to say something out loud, Mr. Protagonist. The game did, did, did a terrible job at conveying that the water was coming back. Oh, no! Oh, that's a lot of them at once. I don't see one above me right now. No, 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 no! Why don't you screw the light again? <laughs> There, I'm fine. They'll never get me in here. If I close the door? If I close the door? If I close the door? Thank you. I'm safe. Sudden camera angle. Yeah, this game is rough. I'm definitely not super... I don't really know where people are coming from that, that seem to like it a lot out of the Silent Hill games. You can like whatever, it's fine. But like... It's so bad at at communicating moments like I that's not like I was already talking before about how like the game will do like a music sting or something to indicate something's happening and I'll be like what happened what or like you hear a monster noise and it's like oh was I supposed to see a monster out the window but I wasn't looking in that direction at the right time so I missed it and yeah in moments like that like the water is like almost completely transparent it's really hard to see where it is or what's happening and the game technology wise just is not ready to like convey the visual of like rushing water so when the music sting happened i was like oh did the game just realize that i noticed the corpse or something and i just stood there stupidly for like five seconds before i even realized what the threat was supposed to be and when a music sting like that happens you're definitely supposed to know what the threat is because the whole point is it's correlating with a visual like a jump like like a jump scare and so on so if there's no accompanying visual for the audio you're just like i don't understand what's happening right now and then the, the moment just falls flat and it becomes funny. First aid kit. Okay, it's open now. Oh. The screen showed somebody... I looked at the screen and it showed somebody in a wheelchair in the frame of the door and they disappeared. Yeah, that, that, that jail... That, uh, that bar door that's open had a guy in a wheelchair in it for a, a little moment and then it went away. I'm starting to wonder if I should have the radio on the whole time. I think I usually had it on in other games because it indicates stuff. I don't know if it's getting annoying that it's running continuously. 
I feel like the particular like police chatter audio might be a little more annoying than we're used to for radio noise in one of these games. Okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone. I'm shocked how much I'm getting away. <laughs> I definitely thought that was gonna be a, a Half-Life 2 moment. There's some tall books. I'm inclined to think that you should maybe always have it in uh, UV light mode because you don't want to miss secrets, but it's just way harder to see that way. Seems like an annoying way to do things. I don't know. I definitely thought, thought that was going to be a half-life moment where you ping the elevator and now it's like, okay, now survive a minute while you wait for the elevator to come. Because that'd be like, that's a tension moment you could definitely mine as all these monsters are chasing you. And you need to run away from the elevator, you need to run away from them or fend them off for a minute straight. While the elevator slowly makes its way to you. And like, the, in fact, a lot of those games will do a thing where the, the noise is what calls them to you. And it is more of a shooter moment, but it's definitely a thing you could mine for horror. In fact, a go-to thing in a lot of horror games is the fact that the thing you have to interact with to accomplish your goal alerts the monsters and so on. That's one of the monsters and it got killed by something else, it seems. It feels almost like a missed opportunity how it happened, but the monsters are like actually like almost bizarrely non-aggressive sometimes. I'm really impressed by how much I get away without having to juke them all that much. So something's here. Okay, at this point, who is boarding this stuff up? Charitably, I would say that this stuff is boarded up like this because in a gameplay mechanic term, they want you have they want you to have a weapon before you continue. So they want you to stop and find one if you have if you lost yours. And then they can try to guarantee that you have a weapon in the next level. Because you had you needed one to open the door. That's my best guess about why it, why it happens the way it does. Hello? Anybody here? Best Hi! No! Me Ow! Ah! I'm never right about how long the combos are. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, yep, I'll take this elevator. That's not an elevator. She probably can't come back to this door. I don't know. Maybe. I can definitely hear her, though. What was that prompt for? Oh, it might have been for the door. How we doing? 59. Not amazing. Okay, so we finished the whole parking garage area. Oh, this place is big, big. Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with that floor. And now the real, the real building begins. The Centennial Building. Elevator, offices, storage, library... Video archive? What is a centennial building? A museum or city hall or anything? Maybe just a big building that contains a ton of different things for different purposes. Radio station at the top, town museum, restaurant, archive, academy, something academy. Dude, this thing has 18 floors. Town museum on the 12th floor. There's archives and offices down here. This building is huge. I was curious because like the radio station sounds like it's still running and they're just like, that person's just chill. But their reference point for how to find this... Welcome to Shepherd's Glen. That came up in the previous game. That guy's reference for how to find the radio person was to go to the big clock tower building. 
Which I guess this must be it. I never saw the clock tower itself, so that didn't really help me very much. This is just a second chance to get the map if we missed it. Since we can't go back now, maybe. But uh, when I checked out a radio thing at a different point, somebody was like, Is anybody out there? Hi. They're like, is, they were like, is anybody out there? I'm stuck in the in the clock tower. Help or something. And that definitely like highlighted. A, that's a different tone for that particular building. When the same building, someone's trapped and freaked out, and somebody else. <laughs> All right, they just straight up tell me when to use the UV light. Apparently, got it. Yeah, somebody's trapped in here and needs help, but somebody else is just like, Yeah, it's the radio station, one eight hundred pebby to pebby to boo. At the same time, maybe that guy's- maybe that person's, like, maintaining appearances? Like, maybe them calling me out all the time on the radio is them trying to call me there to help them, but they're maintain- they're acting like everything's normal so that someone's not suspicious? I don't know. They're doing- Creepy little rattling noises. Hello. Gonna be a bad guy. Ow! Ah. Uh. Bush? Anywhere in particular, or do I just know? Maybe I just know. Well, now I'm above him. Checkmate. Hi. That's a goofy scare moment itself where it's like they expected me to be looking straight the whole time but they gave me a bunch of nooks and crannies that left and right for me to check out. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Kinda sound like he was getting killed inside the vault. But uh is this another copy of the map? I think so. So there's a yeah, it says key, so I need to figure out how to open that. Yep, and there's the signs that they went there. The evidence is that he went in there to defend himself because of stuff clawing at the door. But at the same time, like, it sure sounds like he's having a bad time inside, so it doesn't seem like it's really worked out. Okay, so this is just three, three numbers. I don't have to worry about weird nonsense where they turn each other. Yeah, I just need to go find a three digit combo. Video archive. All right, once again, missed the scare. <laughs> it's like they don't expect me to look around. Okay, so here's where I use a video reel once I find it. Right now it's just showing the mayor putting his feet up. Chillaxin. He doesn't seem to have a guest or anything. Area deeper into the room seems to just be negative space.
always a perfect day with DJ Rick, your on-air friend to the end. Your on-air friend till the end. That doesn't sound like a great sign, does it? Oh, there's an upstairs. Let's check down here first. How are we doing on these? I have nine health kits. That's pretty good. Carpet's all crumpled up. They didn't tack it down. I don't want to get burned. I guess our guy just knows that all these reels are not the one he's looking for. Because he's not really interested in any of them. Can't really look at anything. Take a look around. See, it feels like the second floor of this area is here mostly just to like... For gameplay purposes. Or, or for, uh, for making the room feel bigger. More so than to, to do anything. That reel is an oval. I think all the reels in this shelf might be ovals, like they got squished as assets. Whoops. Well, I'm not missing anything. It's very hard to see. Book, book, book. Probably not accomplishing anything here until I find a video reel somewhere else in the facility. And that might give me the combination to the safe next door, if we're lucky. It'd be similar to how they had the approach of go deeper in to get the ID card, but then getting the ID card gave us what we needed for opening the door in that same room. Those books right there stand out, kind of. There's the, the, there's the the book again. This game got suddenly interested in like particularly fixa uh, fixed camera angles. When you lose someone you love. That painting has been everywhere. It's been in several people's houses. Doors freaking out. You'd be inclined to think that it's referencing a specific person as lo a local tragedy, and it's like a sad thing, and somebody that somebody has in their room to show how sad they are, they are about the person they lost. But then it appears to just kind of be everywhere. Work. Is the bottom of the staircase blocked? No. Is this this is the same open area, right? That I wasn't earlier, I think. No, I think I'm thinking of a place that had office desks. The lower museum area. I don't think it had a bunch of bodies. Could be wrong. Hmm. Six digit combination. I thought I heard a footstep. Four, five, seven, six, seven, one. Four, five, seven, six, seven, one. Nope. I've been wrong about the combo every time. 
If you go very literal, the game might actually just have a path from the combination lock to the combo. Does not seem to be the case. These are my footsteps, okay. I feel like they're all- yep, they're all gonna come bursting out. Oh, she's invisible. Ow. If you kill the body that they're from, they stop. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. How we doing on health? We're fine. Definitely thought it was worse than that. Okay, so the UV light reveals invisible people. That's helpful. I guess we're sticking. I guess we're sticking to it for a while. This stuff's on the table now. So what does it say about our character for fighting a bunch of seemingly naked, like, nightmare women that seem to be like, it's like the, the witch from Left 4 Dead everywhere we go. Dangerous beauty. Okay, that's the painting of her. Do we have a problem with women? Because it's starting to feel like that. That door works. Did this door work? That is not a door. They have you hold down forward to open certain doors. Uh, cause it's meant to let you peek because it's like a horror moment. It's a little weird that they'd still do that in moments where it has a fixed camera angle, so you can't peek because you can't see what your character's looking at. I guess this is not the thing that I have a code for. Doesn't it say A23? Sector A20, A32 security ID. I lost it? I was gonna say, I, I could have sworn that my previous ID said A32. Or that other door I opened with it did. So I should have access to that door too. It's the same, I think it's the same security level. But apparently I used the security key. It's gone now. That's very strange. Demon Samael. Metal as fuck. This tree has defeated this building. Okay, that would take a very long time to happen, unless it just fell through the window, but then... No, it can't, it can't have fallen through the window, it wouldn't be sticking that far into the room. It had to have grown through the window. This place has been abandoned for a long time. Uh oh. An ID card, oh. Well, I guess I'm set there. Oh, and a gun. Okay, okay it turned into bullets. I was wondering how they're going to handle it if I pick up a second gun. Sequestered does not equal safe. I don't think I can look at them directly. It doesn't look like the guy from the beginning. Because that was the sequestered person that we killed. I wonder if there was like a series of people who were corrupt, got arrested for something, imprisoned for something, but they were all being taken care of. Or they thought they were above reproach and that they were going to have an easy sentence where they were protected but then maybe even the people who sequestered them were also planning their deaths what gets in the way of the idea of it being a conspiracy 
to me is just the fact that I knew that guy and wanted to kill him. And I don't think I'm running a conspiracy. Devil's Pit Stop. We've been there. Definitely wondering if there's a trick to opening this wall with how the, the steps stop right here. But the footprints don't go through the wall, they just they seem to turn around. But I'm not sure what to make of that. There's not like an interaction here. Women's room does not exist, <laughs> but the men's room does. My radio is acting up, though. The radio still does sort of interact with local. Who's walking? The radio does does still sort of in, uh, indicate local threats. It's feeling ever present for a while there, but it does like turn on and off. A working mirror in a video game. This never happens. It has worked in previous Silent Hill games, though. You know more than you think you do. Oh. I saw the cop. So we've been here before and we've talked in this room before, maybe. Trust yourself more for you know what you more than you, you know more than you think you do. I'm not sure what these fixed what these fixed camera angles accomplish. They started using them, but not in a way that seems to frame anything in an interesting way. It's like they just refuse to let me look in that at that particular wall. Like maybe that wall's just really boring. <laughs> so just don't look over there. It's a little funny. I just I usually sense more intent in situations like this. I do still have the spot to go back and use the ID card on. I kind of sh I should have gone there at the time. I was just trying to fully explore this room first. The map seems to indicate that there's a door over here. I can't find it in first in this camera angle. <laughs> it's weird, right? That there's a visible door on the map and I can't check it. Okay, that's a music drop. Why is that music playing? I do not know. No. Oops. Okay, well. Here comes this. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Now. Oh, once you know the trick, they're very easy to defeat. <laughs> I guess we got that down. I was wondering what was going on with them because we found one of them in that one, them in that basement, and we know that the ghosts take forever to kill. So if you can just tank hits and go after the the main one the whole time, then that seems like a go an easy solution. So I can't use this phone. It seems like highlighted by the scene. Nope. I, I don't. I don't quite get why they're diverging from the the visual language of the game. Like there was a, they were using the camera a particular way, and then they just stopped and started doing it differently now. But it doesn't feel like it's highlighting stuff. Like the point of fixed camera angles is to frame the room in an interesting way, or to like 
help you notice a specific object or thing and emphasize it. So it's a little strange how we just randomly can't look around the room sometimes, but not I don't seem I don't sense a particular intent behind it. I don't know what the examine was, or was it just this one? I thought I saw something else over there. I haven't heard this song in ages. Oh, am I gonna be in trouble with copyright on this one? Oh no. Okay, it seems like I can't select the top left one again. I guess that's how they make sense of some of these messes. What am I looking at, man? I don't... Oh, the background. I just sorry, I just saw the weird smears on the background for the first time. Yes, everybody's always singing the blues about don't trouble you. The thing to do is to get with the big boss. What's it look like back here? Please highlight the one I want to. Jesus. Ah, God, these controls. No! I keep slapping off of it. There we go. What is this weird little necktie looking spot supposed to attach to? I don't know. Oh, that eight, that, that eight overlaps there. Looks weird. Oh, oh boy. Oh, is the idea that this fits behind the other pieces? Oh. Like the other ones are going to overlap it? Huh.
Maybe it's not about the background? Oh, that part matches now. What the fuck? Oh, each one keeps making a new shape that kind of makes the next part make sense, I guess? Where's this one even go? Oh. You gotta do it. Oh, 851136. It actually wrote this one down. Okay. Huh. Unhinged. <laughs> We made sense of it eventually, but I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? I think the entire song played. We <laughs> we finished it. And then I guess the radio just gives up after one song. That's famously how radios work. Okay, so now I need to find... The combination. Uh... The map says elevator, so that's that question mark, isn't it? Yeah, it was like upstairs. Yeah, if I go up the stairs, it was like that end room. That's worth checking. Where am I? Oh, right. Yeah, we go through the room with the weirdly telegraphed uh, telephone. See, there's the a moment of it. Not doing the camera thing, but still wanting me to press the the door direction to continue. Very strange. This game just has a fair amount of very strangely designed elements. Seeing this at the top of staircase is kind of looks like a like the witch lady is up there coming for me. It was eight five. One, one, three, six. Our first successful combo with this input system, I think. Well, that's suspicious. Oh, God. Okay. Secret history of the colonies. Settlers came to the Americas seeking religious freedom, a promise which certainly appealed to the Gnostic practitioners of varying faiths, ranging from pagan to Judeo-Christian, and even ancient Babylonian traditions. After hearing tales of the place of silent spirits, many made pilgrimages to what is now called Toluca Lake. One such pilgrim was Professor Horace Holloway, who wrote in his diary, Stepping foot on that ground, even a fool could sense its sacred nature. Surely this place is the one for which we have sought. These groups studied and naturally and gradually integrated the religious practice of the native tribes, often interpreting deities and rites in terms of their personal traditions. In this, in this way, figures such as Metatron, Samael, and Molech were brought to the New World, as well as varying divination practices. Renthermancy, scrying, gyromancy, et al. Checked out June 27th. Why would there be a giant, ugly stamp on the page itself? What a horrible... You're supposed to use the little card. <laughs> what you even put on the actual page? It's horrible. Well, it may seem uh, peculiar that pious and God-fearing colonists would so readily adopt heathen or pagan rites into their burgeoning society. The incorporation of pagan traditions into Judeo-Christian orth orthodoxy is nothing new. During Christianity's spread across Europe, several pagan traditions were repurposed and absorbed by the church when recent converts were not so willing to abandon long-practiced rites and festivals based on seasonal and lunar cycles. Sadly, these colonists that happily celebrate the Norse pagan holiday of Yule in the guise of Christmas, or the Celtic Samhain in uh, All Hallows' Eve, were the same colonists that were quick to root out witchcraft and devil worship within their community, as evidenced by the brutal witch trials that... And that's all we got. We are them hypocrites. America have... Americans have been assholes for our entire history. Shepherd House. Is that in the Shepherd Glen? <laughs> I 
What, what tricks do I even press? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they do it that way. It's very strange. <laughs> go away. To the store. All right, bye. Oh, she came. She came inside. I think I can climb this to the upper level. That sounds nice. Uh. Haha! <laughs> -ha, you're on the ground. My advantage. Oh, a forehead combo. Jeez. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that part. Oh, she's fine. That's close enough. I'll sacrifice the five health that I didn't get back by using a little early. Okay. Oh. Ret Cairn Psyduck. Uh, licensed clinical uh, psychologist. 617-555-3323. Helping individual and couples cope with loss of a child. I wonder if this will hold me. Uh, I wish, I wish it would hold me. Me and, me and who am I, right? Uh-huh. Oh, she is awake and angry. But I don't know if she can get up here, so... Uh, fuck her. Dude, these are all over the place. I don't think these are adding anything to my map. I think... Why is that floor... Centennial building? Okay, it says the same thing. There's just a piece of tape in the way. The offices are scratched out. I don't think picking up new magazines is giving me any more notes. I think they just somewhat strangely put them everywhere. And then they make it open up every time you pick one up. With no new information. I understand the idea of trying to, like, make sure you find the map in case you missed it, but I figure maybe they could just make the other ones non-interactive at that point. Or even despawn them. Amusingly, in other Silent Hill games, I think sometimes you could just miss the map. It'd be, like, in the first room half the time, but if you walked past it, you just wouldn't have a map for that zone until you found it. It's very funny. And some of the some of the levels, I think, in some of these games have played with the idea of you not having the map by just not giving it to you for a while. All right, so this is the second floor above the one with the little trees. There was a fire up here. Ten health kits. Oh, no falling, please. Oh. Does that mean there's another shadow clone spawning mannequin down there now? I guess things have just been kind of running around and giggling this whole time. So it could just be those again. Keep going. Oh! Ow. Oh, it broke. It broke immediately. That is decidedly unhelpful. Okay, there's a lot of these. Oh my god, the chair sucks. Okay, it gets there eventually. It's one down at least, I guess. This chair is coming apart. Definitely like a different weapon. I probably want to explore this place and not just run through it. But there's a lot of mannequins to take out if I want to do that. Unless this is just as an action level you run through real quick and don't fight everyone in. Wait, where'd the mannequins go? Are they all gone? I only had to take one of them out. 
Okay, weird. Huh. I saw three different main mannequins, so I thought I had to take all three of them out to take out their corresponding clones. But I took one of them out, and the other ones are all just gone now. Can I hop over this? No. Okay, this was just a rapid-fire little chase sequence that lasts two seconds, but it's being demystified by the fact that I'm now just wandering around it. To check back. The smooth thing that games will often do is they'll create a little chase level like this, but then what they'll do is... Uh, oh, is that an axe? That's way better than I thought I was going to get. Oh, it's a crowbar. I thought it was a brick. <laughs> Wait, these have tools in them? Is that the implication? I thought a pile of bricks was going to give me a brick, not a crowbar. That's bizarre. This is really bizarre communication. But yeah, the smooth thing that games will often do in these situations is they'll create a little chase sequence like this, but then you'll run through it, and then the end point will, like, collapse or something. Uh, and they'll make it more unambiguously a chase thing that you should run from by having a lot of enemies show up. But here they've awkwardly given me a situation where I run it first, but then I break the thing, and now I can explore, and then I backtrack through the whole level, and then you realize there's no reason to, and it was wasted time, they might as well have just... They should have just, like, chased me out better, because... It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't benefit anyone for the player to turn around and check it out. There we go. Ow. Ah, game, game, you're right. Okay, is there another one? Yes, this time there is another one. Now did I win? Huh. Strange. Yeah, because last time I took one of them out and all of them disappeared. This time that didn't happen. Oop. Oh, another crowbar. Silent Hill Cinema. This doesn't open. How's that health? 80%, I'm fine. Uh, uh, the game really freaks out right around there. Weird. Oh god. Jeez. Hmm, they might have really expected me to just run for it. Yeah, these are just non-exploration levels. Weird. They don't quite create the sense of tension you would need in order to uh, stop you from uh, just stopping and looking around. So I'm guessing I just f I'm guessing I just fixed the elevator now, so it couldn't it wouldn't come to me because it was trapped up here. Someone jammed something in the door, so it literally could not close. So I can go up to floor 18. Is that what I want? I think that was technically my goal this whole time. Things do look pretty explored. It went surprisingly quickly. The level looked like it was going to be really big. So I'm kind of surprised, but it looks like I've kind of been everywhere. Yeah, that's a lot of... Every, every door is like... Red. So I've at least tried them all. The thing is I still need to find a film reel, right? But maybe you do that upstairs. Where am I supposed to find a security card? Hmm. I need a security card to go up there. Okay. What do I have? Uh, jack shit. Got some... Got a fun supply of bullets to use, which I, I never use my gun. <laughs> Save that for the boss fights, I guess. That makes sense to me. I'm on the third floor. Am I gaining anything by getting the elevator? I guess there's the fact that now that I have the elevator, I can take it up to the 18th floor once I get 
the security clearance. But besides that, we're just at a dead end right now. Right, I'm still trying to get inside the vault, but, that, but that's probably where... Hmm. I know other floors. You probably use... Uh... The reel to get that particular floor. Did I just see the glass break again? Is there more? Wow, I can't do it myself. Those things are strong, then. Let's see. Has the door opened up? Did I, I'm wondering if I missed something because I don't have. I don't have anything for the video room. Okay, here's the room where I attacked. Let's check the rest of this area. I think I just tried the... Is that where I climbed up? That took me upstairs. I guess the enemy disappeared. So that's the second door. Did I ever try this first door? Was I too startled by the enemy? Down hall. Is she back? Oh, I thought... Oh, that's not a door. Womp womp. Confused. What have I accomplished? Let's go back up, I guess. Maybe there was something up here on the third floor? Now the music is acting up. Huh? Careful. At this point, I definitely could have taken the elevator to get back to the third floor instead of all this, but I was trying to retrace my steps to see if I missed something. Because I got this whole set piece here, which seems important. But in the process of coming up here, I never actually gained anything besides the elevator. But the elevator is not usable, so I still don't have anything actionable. Is there something here? Can't go anywhere around here. It's just a chair. Can't climb through there. That all seems like a whole floor I already had access to.
And it's just a chair. Oh, a ladder. Hello. I never saw you. Is this room new? Yeah, this area all feels new. Okay, hello. Ah. Psychological report from Dr. Wayne Sarah to Warden Glenn Milton. Psychological evaluation, probational, probo, uh, probationary hearing, prelimination, a prelim. Law is a male, 43 years old. He is serving a mm, sentence for multiple felony accounts, including third degree murder and sexual assault of a child below the age of 14. He appears to be in satisfactory physical health. The prisoner is currently being considered for probation. After multiple sessions with the prisoner, I have concluded he does not suffer any psychotic or physical disorders. Rather, he has shown continually to have an inordinate interest in young children and manifest significant predatory traits. As a result, I feel he possesses an imminent danger to the community and should be released from custody uh, and therefore is a poor candidate for probation. Oh, an imminent danger should he be released. Dr. Wayne Sara. 43. They're intentionally hiding the information to make you wonder who it is. And we don't know the exact age of our character, so we're like, hang on a minute. Could I be worried about you, Mr. Pendleton? But then that other guy's like... What bothers me is the other guy's, you're not like these guys, you seem chill or whatever. It's like, okay... That tells me he didn't uh, assault a child. Also, I don't know if I, if you're saying he, they recommend him for probation because he's non-violent, that make that tells me he's probably not also a nightmare child predator because that also feels like it would not be the kind of thing you would say that about. You know what I mean? I don't know if they technically call that violence, but it definitely is violence under ma many definitions. I don't know what they legally call it, but then you wouldn't be like, Yeah, he's, this guy seems alright. That guy seems like he exists to signal to us that our character is probably... ...fine...ish? Which itself feels... but that's that seems dubious on some level just because, like, it's kind of a... Uh, it's odd for a Silent Hill protagonist not to have a fucked up dark past that they're they're running from. And you usually are going to learn something about your character over the course of the game. So it's probably not just the fact that we took revenge on that guy in that in that shower. Because we already know that part. So it wouldn't be a reveal. This, the game opened on that. These games don't normally open on just preemptively telling you uh, what the guys are bad for doing. We'll see. Either way, I have a weapon right now. I found slides, so we take the slides to the slide room. It all makes sense now. Okay, so now I go to the elevator. Yeah, that th th the third floor of this of this level was weird. It definitely felt like it's just supposed to be a chase sequence where you run from stuff, and it was totally devoid of anything in it. But in the middle of it, there's one hard-to-see elevator, and that hard-to-see elevator is where everything matters. Let's see. What's that circled bit? That's the part I've done already, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. The video room's behind me.
Ta-da! That's the way I came in originally. There's the vault door. So here's the video room. The question is, what do the slides reveal? Check out that girthy slide holster. Um, oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, the slides are numbered on the top of the screen. So it's nine six one. That's also a, st a stock sound I've heard a billion times. You've heard that very same stock uh, slide sound in uh, Fallout 3 when they go, War. War never changes. Actually, it's probably not that cutscene specifically, but, you know, the whenever the slide sound happens in that thing. Ah, uh, these off- wait, are these off-center? Let's see, that's- that's the Roman numeral for- that's eight. Nine. There we go. Nine, six. There we go. They they, they tricked me because it looked. You expect it to be since it's radial. You expect it to be like clock faces. So you expect it to face the directions that the clock's facing. And you're like, hang on a minute. That doesn't make sense. This one stops at ten instead of twelve. How you doing, buddy? Was that the guy I saw the shadow of earlier? The ID card. Is this another chance for me to do coffee? So what's it gonna be, Murphy? Oh. You and me gonna play ball? With all your hard work for nothing. Uh-huh. I mean, the way I see it. Sort of a win-win situation, right? Guys like Napier, they've got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. Well, let me ask you this. What about Charlie's safety, huh? So this is how it's going to work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. I'll see to it no one finds him until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're going to owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? <laughs> of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. What the fuck is your deal with that gun? Remember, Cupcake? You owe me one. Handling that gun is like threatening me, and then he fucking actually pointed at me and pulled the trigger? He pointed it somewhere, I can't tell where I was in that scene exactly. Okay, so yeah, we definitely, uh, we definitely went after her. That guy. So I was. It was just my 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 gut reading that I did based on not even knowing that Charlie existed yet, has been completely correct. It's weird to predict the entire plot of a Silent Hill game in the first thirty seconds, but all the reveals are just telling me the stuff I guessed immediately. <laughs> Maybe there's still more though potentially. Annual employment review. George Sewell, corrections officer, twenty years. Area of concern. There have been numerous reports of prisoners and fellow. Corrections officers that George uh, that Officer Sewell maintains cons uh, suspicious contact w and or relationships with certain prisoners under his care. There have also been allegations of abuse of power by Officer Sewell, including physical threats. Officer Sewell adamantly denies these claims. Conclusion: Until further investigation is conducted into the various changes against Officer, S Officer Sewell, promotion and or merit wage increase cannot be approved at this time. 
positive contributions to the team. Officer Sewell has been has perfect work attendance throughout the entire review period and consistently reports to his uh, duties in a punctual fashion. That's a really shitty uh, positive review to have. Uh, so what's what's good about him? Uh, well, he's showing up. Cool. Does he do a good job? He's here. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So how many people have died because of him? <laughs>